How we doing everybody? Hope y'all doing all right. Like my new hat. Oh yeah, I got that from the show. Got my Timber B shirt. We did make it to the Bunyan. So I kind of got a long story, but y'all bear with me. It won't just be a few minutes long. So, last Wednesday I think it was, my plan was to go to the Bunyan. I was not able to go last year because we were working down in uh, Florida, down near Miami doing storm cleanup from Hurricane Irma. So my plan was last year to go and just didn't work out. We were down there, blah, blah, blah. So this year I'm like, I really want to go to the Bunyan. See log away, all that cool stuff, check out the grinders, everything. And uh, so Wednesday of last week, I um, got this text from my wife's. Her grandparents haven't been doing too well. So got another text saying, you know, hey, he's not doing too good. We kind of knew it was coming. Been, he ended up passing away last uh, last Tuesday. I think it was around 2 o'clock, something like that. But, you know, I mean, he's in a better place. He knew the Lord as a Savior. And, uh, you know, he's not suffering. He was, I believe, 86 years old, 85, 86 years old, somewhere in there. I think. So, he, um, you know, his wife, her grandma, just recently passed as well, about three months ago. So, but my wife is from Michigan. And uh, and we're down here in South Carolina, so it's about 630, 40 miles, something like that, up there. So I was like, me and the guys were planning on going up that weekend of the uh, of the show. So we got the call about the grandparents, changed everything. Me and Willie were going to go. So I uh, um, let's see where was I. Okay, so anyways, so got the, um, Willie's like, well, I'm not going to go, it's no big deal, it's no big I wasn't planning on going, and I was like, hey, Jody, you know, it's kind of on the way, a little bit out of the way, and she's like, that's fine, we'll go. So, we left last Friday, drove, got to the show, or two hours away from the show, because the only hotel around there was two hours away, and uh, had to end up, we ended up canceling our other hotel reservations that we had, just because we didn't think we were going, but woke up Saturday morning, went to the show, got to see Fecon and you know all the big grinders, all that kind of stuff. Ran in, got to go see Logger Wade and that chipper guy and stuff. So that was that was pretty cool. That was worth it right there, you know. Meet the champion Logger, yeah, the champion, and uh, meet that chipper guy. Awesome, it was good times. And then uh, we had the funeral on Monday. We drove to Michigan that that day. And then had the funeral Monday. And then today is Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. And then, so we left right after the funeral. And then we drove to somewhere in Kentucky. Stopped for the night. Got up this morning. We are on the road about 8 o'clock. Drove the rest, the rest of the way. It was about 400 miles, I think, somewhere in there. Drove all that way. Got to the house. Dropped the kids, Jody off. Unpacked the We took the truck and uh got there and i was like i'm gonna run up the shop check on willie i had to go look at a job and stuff and shops maybe 15 minutes from my house i'm about two minutes from the shop this little girl in some gmc acadia thing pulled right out in front. there was a guy in front of me and i turned i was in a four-lane highway guy in front of me i was in the far right lane he turned and then i was just you know three or four car lengths behind him and once he turned, she turned too, and I ran, she ran right in the front of me, smashed my, hit the front bumper here, she started here, let me see, hit the front bumper, came down, hit the tire, where's that thing at, hit the tire, lost my stupid $90 center cap off, and then came down, lit all this down here, I don't know if you can see it, but creased it in pretty good and uh, yeah, you can see all that but messed up the tire pretty good but me and Willie measured it it's uh, three quarters of an inch out from the front so 
she hit the, she hit the back duels, you know, and it knocked everything out of whack. So the old hips, that's what we call the truck here, is old hips. You know, she got some nice big hips on her, but um, she, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. Just got off the phone with all the insurance company, but but my video for the Bunyan show. I was going around showing some, you know, the Fecons and different grinders and Seppi and, you know, uh, Rayco and all that kind of stuff. I was, like, checking them out and everything. I got done. We got back in the truck. I was, like, looking at some stuff. I was, like, it wasn't recording. So I got a whole two minutes, not even that, a video. But it's the way my luck's been going lately. So, yeah. But thankfully no one was hurt in the accident. You know, she was pretty shook up. I think she's... 19 year old girl but she's all right the front of her car smashed pretty good i'll put some pictures on there of her car and then my truck but that's part of it you know praise the lord no one was hurt made it home safe yeah but another day so i hope you guys enjoy the pictures of logger wade and uh um my bunion whole two minutes of it it was well worth it i'm glad i went I hope I can go back next year. We had three kids under six there, so that was kind of, uh, they were done. It was hot. It was pretty hot. But hope to go back next year, take the guys up there, spend a good day, you know, checking everything out. But Thanks for watching. Hope you all like the videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. And uh, hopefully get some grinding footage up or something like that. But old uh 2014 ram she's seen better days <laughs> so here we go see y'all all right here we are at the paul bunyan show hey guys everybody's ready to go home hey levi having fun so checking out all the grinders all kinds of stuff got the pecan 128 this bad boy here wood miser hold on say let go let go checking out the old seppies double carbide teeth pretty sharp for an excavator. A little door on it. This will be their skid steer model. That's a little flail for a skid steer. I wouldn't mind getting something like that one day. We'll see.